Hello, and I'm with Chris Theater with Calliope Games, and today we're going to talk about Station Master. So yeah, give us the scoop. Yeah, so Station Master is um, one of our all-time favorite games, and it's actually a classic game that was out with Mayfair years ago that a lot of people really love. And we're so excited because we get to bring this thing back with a beautiful new look. We've done all new art for it, new components, and really brought this, this fun uh, train game back in a, in a really great way. So okay. Station Master is for two to six players, uh, plays really quick, it's really easy to teach and learn, and what the story is is you're all uh, aspiring Station Masters down by the station, you've got all the locomotives lined up, you need to attach rail cars to the locomotives, you need to board passengers on the trains and get them going, and then you score points uh, based on uh, how well you did with getting the passengers on the right trains. So. I'm going to set this aside for a second. You'll notice that we have um, different uh, passenger ponds. So there's six different types, all different shapes. Yeah. And there's six um, for each person. And they come in uh, ones, twos, threes, and a negative one. So everybody would choose one. I'm just going to throw it here. I'll give you the, uh, the brief cases here. I'll take these top hats. Move these over to the side just a second. Okay, so we have these face, face down, or these will be in the final version. This is all prototype. These will actually be a little bit thicker and they'll be wooden pawns. But the nice thing is they all stand up. So when you put them in front of you, you can see the value, but the other player can't. So you know what your, your passenger values are. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna lay out a number of locomotive cards equal to the number of players. So I should have shuffled these up, I didn't, but I'm just gonna put out a couple of locomotive cards. Beautiful art on these things, gorgeous locomotives, all classic vintage locomotives. So these locomotives have a number at the top. This will tell you how many passenger pawns we can put on this train. And the passenger pawns are always played onto the locomotive. So we can have up to five on here and up to three on this one. This is also how many rail cars can be attached before this train leaves the station. So as soon as the fifth rail car is attached to this locomotive, it's gonna pull out no matter how many people are boarded. Okay. And when we score this train, what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the value of the train based on the cars attached to it. That number times whatever your value is of passengers, because we'll reveal our passenger pawns at that point and add them up. So if you put three points worth and I put two points worth, we'd multiply those numbers by the value of the train to see how much efficiency we got for boarding people on that train. So the Station Master cards themselves are a variety of things. There's freight cards, which are negatives. There's passenger cards, which are positives. There's also special ability cards that let you transfer passengers from locomotive to locomotive or uh, maybe uncouple cars and take them away or move cars from one train to the next. So you have all these different things. On your turn, you'll have a hand of three of these. On your turn, you can either add a passenger pawn to a train or play a card from your hand to a train. Now if I put this here, this is now a six point train. And as we add, that'll be changed. Like maybe later, someone plays a negative one, so now it's only a five point train and so on and so forth. But once we get to the limit of cars, and let's say you had thrown this on here, let's say I'd thrown this on here. Once we get to the limit, the five, we see how much this is worth. So it's 10, 11, minus three, which if I'm doing my math right, 11, seven, there we go. <laughs> And then we would reveal the passengers on here. So if it's seven, you'd get 21 points, and I would get 14 points. You multiply the value of the train by your total value of this. And if you'd had more, if you'd had five on there, it would be five times the seven, you'd have 35 points worth. So every turn is just a simple decision. Do I want to add to the train, or do I want to add passengers on there? Or do I want to play a special ability card and do something to kind of mess somebody up? So a lot of times, you get little fun things like this. So let's say I put a pawn on here to start. And let's say we were playing with more people and everyone wanted to gang up on me. So maybe someone else puts the negative two, thinking, ah, ha, ha, he's gonna get that. And then somebody else puts a negative one on there. And then let's say we really got it bad, someone puts a negative four on there. And now there's three cars, the train's gonna pull away. Well, when I reveal my passenger, I had the negative one. And I'm not good at math, but what I do know is a negative times a negative is a positive which means this is now a four, five, six, seven point train. It's a negative seven point train, but because it's times negative one, it becomes a seven point train for me. So this can be a little bit of a bluff. You put that out and other people want to gang up on you. So um, there's a lot of little choices in this game, really fast paced. Um, there's also, uh, when we got this game to produce, 
Um, we wanted to do some new things. We reached out to the designer, Chris Bayless, who lives in England, he's a wonderful guy. And we said, what ideas do you have for the game? And he goes, I've got an idea that, that we had back in the day, we never used it in the original version, to do these stations that would appear in the middle of the train. We called them depots, and we added them in. So what you can do is, if, as a train's being built, you can play a depot. You start with one of these in front of you, you can add a depot, you immediately score the train and put one of your passenger pawns on it, and then you continue from there and you score from the depot on, so it cuts a train in two. So what it does is it helps with a little bit of a runaway leader issue. If somebody is really building up something big, you can cut them off, and then you can continue on from there. Okay. So this is, um, yeah, th this is basically the game that you're going to get in the final one. It's got all the Station Master cards. There's locomotives. You play until the locomotive deck is empty and the last train is left. Um, there's also certain locomotives do special things. There's a freight train that will actually switch it. So the negatives become positives and the positives become negatives. So, you know, if you want to ride the freight train, you got to do it the opposite way. And then there's executive class uh, locomotives like this Harry Potter Hogwarts Express here that um, there's special cards that only count as a positive value when they're attached to an executive class locomotive. Any other train they're on, they're considered a negative. So I saw one of those earlier. They look like this. So on any train other than an executive class, it's minus three. But if it's on an executive class, it's actually worth six. So like I said, lots of little decisions. Uh, beautiful art. These pieces will be uh, screen printed wood in the final ones. They'll be nice and thick. And um, $25 price point is going to be due out quarter two of next year. Wow. It's, it's a fascinating game. It's, it's uh, if, if you're, uh, like where I'm from, there's a lot of like toy train collectors. I can see them loving this. If you love math, you're certainly going to love this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's definitely strategic. Wow. Oh, and I'll show you something. I'll get all 21st century on you. So <laughs> we have, even on our development team, we have a few people who uh, don't really care for math. And so what we did was we actually created a companion app that when you play it, uh, and there's actually sound and everything, um, you'll choose your pawns, you hit start, and then when you score a train, you choose the locomotive. You choose what carriages were on there. You choose your, uh, what your value is in the passengers. And then it scores automatically for you. So if you're playing with kids who want to have some like interactive stuff, you can do that. Or if you're playing with people who ah, maybe they've had a drink or two and they don't really, really feel like doing a lot of math, that this will be a free app that's available. It's actually, it just went live on the iOS and Android uh, app stores. So that'll be available for people to use when they play the game so they don't have to have a pen and paper to keep score. All right. Now, this is, is this out right now? Not yet. Is no, this is on Kickstarter right now, okay. uh, running until the 12th of December. Um, we are funded and we're looking for more people to, to jump all aboard. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that runs until the 12th and then um, we're, as you can see, the art is, is done. Um, we've got to finalize the insert and make sure that it's good. There's a standard edition, which is this one. There's also a deluxe edition that has a flip top magnetic closed box and it's got a flocked interior. That's the deluxe version and it comes with a completely unique set of passenger pawns that won't be available in the retail version. But yeah, that's available, but the game will be out in stores uh, quarter two of next year. Thank you very much, this looks, this looks amazing. Happy to show it to you, we really, really enjoy the game.